Hey friends, welcome to a review with the Demon. Today I'm reviewing North Park Brewing, Conjurers, and Conquerors. It's a collaboration with Brewhouse Brewing, and it is a triple dry hop, triple IPA that clocks in at 10% alcohol by volume. So this is brewed with Simcoe, Citra, Citra Syro, Citra 702, Motika Syro, Nelson Subion Syro, Rewaka Syro, and Motika Syro. And this clocks in at 10% alcohol by volume. I think I already said that. And it was canned on February 26th. So this is a little over, like, not even over. It's almost two months old. Not quite, but almost two months old. So in my experience, if you store North Park Brewing correctly, their beers will hold up really well. So if you've watched my social media channels, I'm sure you're aware how much I love North Park Brewing. But the reason why I wanted to review this one in particular is because it's a collaboration with Brujos Brewing, and I've always wanted to drink Brujos. I mean, in my opinion, they have the coolest aesthetic, and they have the best artwork in craft beer right now. It's somewhere, their artwork is somewhere in between, like, black metal and medieval, and it's awesome. And their brewery just opened up in Portland, and it looks like a church. It's so sweet. Honestly, that's, like, one of my top breweries to visit, but this is the closest I'm going to get to Brujos right now. If anybody has a can they can donate or wants to trade, hit me up. But right now, this is what I got, and I'm happy because I love North Park Brewing. All right, guys, you see it's got the collaboration there, Brujos and North Park. And it's got these little uh, hop guys in hoods. That's kind of uh, Brujos' vibe. All right, let's get into this beer. Uh, sounds like a monster, but we'll find out. Usually the North Park triples are. All right. All right. All right, yeah, kind of looks like what most North Park Brewing beers look like, which is not a bad thing. And honestly, as soon as I open this, let's get the beer back in the pitcher. I smelled it, which is a good thing. Um, it tells me that there's a lot of hops, and it's still relatively pretty fresh. All right, guys, let's get a whiff of the nose. Salute. All right, so a lot of pineapple, a lot of pineapple, right? Right, like right, right away, right on the nose. Definitely getting some, like, melon and grass in there. So I'm getting melon, grass, pineapple. Definitely getting a little bit of, like, dang pine. I'm definitely getting some, like, alcohol in there, too, surprisingly. And it's, like, almost, like, stinging my nose a little bit. I mean, I love triple IPAs, so... I mean, if it stings me a little bit or it burns a little bit, I kind of like that. I love triples. All right, let's get another whiff of the nose. Almost like a... Like a... This is, thing is also so dank. Wow, it's super dank. So you have like those, those fruit flavors mixed in with the dankness and it's giving it a really nice balance. And honestly, from most North Park beers I've had, they are always really balanced. They have that West Coast thing going on with their traditional like hazy IPA thing. And honestly, like it, it, they, they do it really well because their hazies are not too sweet. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's why I like North Park so much. Okay, let's get a whiff of this one more time. Salute. Yeah, so somewhere in here with the dankness and the grass and the pineapple and the melon, I'm getting berries, and I love that. I love that I'm getting berries in here. Wow, this nose is really, really complex. I mean, every time I smell North Park beers, their, their noses are always really, really complex. And I definitely feel like a part of the reason for that is because they dry hop their beers. And when you dry hop beers, you're going to get like more of a pungent nose out of it. And you're going to make the most out of that hop expression. All right, guys, let's take it down the hatch. I'm ready for Conjurers and Conquerors. Salute. Really good. But there's something about the aftertaste that is almost like a little chemical-y. And it's not my glass because my glass is clean. But it is, re like the flavor is good. It's just the aftertaste was a little, a little, a, a little weird. All right. Now that I told you what the initial flavor was like, let's uh, take it down the hatch more. Yeah. So I got that pineapple. I got that melon. 
I get that dull. It's good, but the aftertaste is throwing me off a little bit. The flavor up front is really good. It's still tasting really fresh. Um, the just aftertaste is a throw me off a little bit. It almost has like um, like it it could be because of like the hops, but it almost has like a like a slight like. I don't know if it's like a plant matter, but it's like it's more of like a chemical matter. That's the first thing that like came to my head. All right, guys, salute. Let's take it on the hatch again. Yeah, so that pineapple and berries that I was getting on the nose is very much in there. And the melon is very much in there. The grass, the dank, the pine. Let me see what else I'm getting. There's a, this body, the thing I like about the body, it's really creamy. It's really creamy. I love that this body, like, it's nice and thick and creamy, and I really, really like that. There's a, the, the thing, I, I gotta say, I love North Park, and I've never thought this about North Park beers, but there is a lot of hops in this beer. This beer is hoppy as hell, and I love hops, so I'm, I'm, I'm into it. That also, like, I'm not sure, but that could be where, like, the funky that like funky aftertaste is coming with coming from it could be just because there's so much hops in here but i also think at two months old i also think that's why the beer is still tasting really re still tasting good and there's also a strong like intense like resinous like hoppiness like on the mouth like it's it's intense this is way more intense than like i thought it was gonna be all right salute let's take it on the hatch So this beer is like, it almost like fools you because in the beginning you get those like beautiful, like juicy flavors, like the mango, the pineapple, the berries. Then it goes into like, like an intense, like resinous pine and almost like, almost a little plant mattery too. I think that's why I was getting at with the chemical thing. All right, guys, on a scale from one to five, I'm going to give this. A 4.50. A 4.50. It's really, really good. It's super intense, but really, really good. Um, my favorite triple I've had from North Park so far has been rice and beans. That was awesome. This is still really good, but man, it's like it's pretty intense. This probably I'm not gonna lie, so out of all the North Park beers I had, this is probably the second most intense one I had. The first most intense one I had was that quad, and I did really like it. Alright, guys. Conjurers and Conquerors. 4.50 man the aftertaste is super intense okay if you like stumbled upon this beer if you don't like hops like you're not gonna like this beer like i like this beer because i'm in the hops but like somebody that's not in the hops this is like this beer is not a beginner's beer at all this beer is for like pro craft beer drinkers pro hop heads this is a hop head beer and i feel like i mean i don't know but i feel like that's what brewers in north park that's what they had to be going for because to me this is a pro hop beer man it's it's delicious but it is quite intense and final score 4.50 conjures and conquers uh awesome really good beer really good beer intense but good I really want to try Brujo, so if anybody uh, has any Brujo's connects, let me know. I'd be willing to give what I have or what I can. Um, not what I can. I'm not going to give you, like, my entire fridge, but, you know, I'm willing to negotiate. All right. Salute, guys. Have a good day. Enjoy.